Hi there. So for this question, we're asked to solve 8x to the power 6 plus 7x cubed minus 1 equals 0. And there's two ways that we can do this, as I'll show you. But first of all, what I notice is that this is a quadratic equation in x cubed. In other words, we can think of this as 8 times x cubed all squared. And then we've got plus 7x cubed, then minus 1, and it equals 0. So you can see, hopefully, that we've got a quadratic equation in x cubed. So when it comes to solving quadratic equations, we've got two methods. We can either factorize it or use the formula. I'll do both methods, as I say. I'm going to factorize it, though, OK, first of all. So with this, if you experiment with your factors, you should be able to see that you're going to have 8x cubed times, say, x cubed there. That will give us 8x to the power 6. And then for the minus 1, if we choose minus 1 here and 1 here, minus 1 times 1 will give us the minus 1. But you'll get 8x cubed minus x cubed, which is 7x cubed. And when we've done this, we can then go on to say that each of those factors would equal 0. So 8x cubed minus 1 can equal 0, or the other factor, x cubed plus 1, can equal 0. And if that's the case, rearranging this, we end up with x cubed equals 1 eighth, if we have 1 to both sides and divide by 8, or if we just subtract 1 from both sides, x cubed is equal to minus 1. And to therefore get x, all we need to do is take the cube root. Cube root then of 1 eighth, or for this one, x would equal the cube root of minus 1. Now the cube root of 1 eighth, if we cube root the top and the bottom, cube root of 1 is 1, cube root of 8 is 2. So this is a half. Notice it's not going to be plus or minus a half when you take a cube root. Just positive a half. And for this one, cube root of minus 1 is minus 1. So therefore we've got x can equal a half or x can equal minus 1. Now if you did turn to the formula, okay, let's just put this down here by the formula. We're talking about the quadratic formula that is. Be careful here because you're dealing with this equation here and it's a quadratic equation then in x cubed. So by the formula, it's not going to be x equals, it's going to be x cubed that equals. And a would be 8, b would be 7, and c would be minus 1. So according to the formula, x cubed then would equal minus b, so it would be minus 7 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's going to be all of minus 7 squared, minus 4 times a times c. a is 8 and c is minus 1. And if you divide all of this then by 2a, that would be 2 times a, which was 8. And working this out, you end up with your minus 7 there, plus or minus the square root then of 7 squared, 49. This is going to be 32. 49 and 32 is 81. And all of that is divided by 16. And so what we end up with is minus 7 plus or minus the square root of 81, which is 9. And that's all divided by 16. So if you take the options here, you're going to have x cubed equals taking plus minus 7 plus 9 is 2, divided by the 16, you've got 2 sixteenths, which is 1 eighth, OK? Or you've got x cubed equals minus 7 minus 9, which is minus 16, divided by 16 is minus 1. And you can see then that when you've got your x cubed values, 
cube rooting each one of them just gives you the answers that we had before, a half or minus one. Okay, 